All right, welcome to day two of working on the Green Farms A&M Permaculture Project. Here you can see we are at the southwest corner of the property, the first settlement zone. And uh, here we have the silo, which is gonna be our frame of reference for today. Um, we have the main homeowner's property to the north and a nice wooded uh, circle that curves around the property as it reaches its highest point. Here we come up to the first market garden and you can see uh, on the first day I uh, came out here and staked out the area did some trimming of this tree that kind of hangs over about half of the garden. Uh, this will be a nice little community area right here in the corner. Um, and we have a large piece of timber just kind of laying in the middle of it. But it kind of makes for a nice half uh, circle, kind of horseshoe shape around the garden. Um, hopefully over here, uh, we have some rocks laying over here, so hopefully I can make a little pond and, uh, some, uh, add some rocks to the garden. Um, we have a little over, uh, a thousand square feet here, and we're probably going to do some type of keyhole design. Today we're going to remove some of the branches that I've laid down. Uh, trim it up a little bit and start laying down cardboard and then covering it back up with sticks and mulch that we have over there. Over here, this will probably be the second area that we'll be working on. Um, I'm going to try to clean out this area next to the silo. Uh, this area gets full sun uh, with the exception of some shade perhaps from the silo. Uh, but hopefully uh, we can do some planting over here and uh, maybe put a little structure on the corner of that concrete to just kind of congregate, look out over the property and, and do some water catchment for the garden. You can see we have some nice wild edibles already out here. We have some black raspberries which will be uh, trellised and trimmed up so that we can get some good fruit production out here. Uh, this area over here, hopefully we can turn into a nice home for some chicken and some goats. We have a nice huge raspberry patch which will take a, a lot of trimming up and uh, hopefully we can get a lot of that trellis so it can be manageable and productive. Um, one thing that we do have a lot of on this property is black walnuts so we look forward to harvesting those next fall and maybe turning this area in front of the raspberry patch that's in full sun into a garden as well. We also plan to put some camping spots on the edge and then uh, tackle the rest of the property which goes back uh, for a total of 10 acres. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is the beginning of day two.